Hey there, this is Katherine Cartwright. Welcome to today's video. I've got a quick card that I'm going to make using the Hearts Stencil Kit from Diamond Press. It included a couple of stencils, a stamp set, and some dies, and they always include the cutting folder if you have the marquee uh, die cutting machine. This one's called Speech Bubbles. Very cute. And then this one is Conversation Hearts. So I love a good heart stencil. Very nice quality too. And they're those dies that I was referencing. So if you wanted to stencil something and cut it out, uh, you could. All right. So this card, I'm going to start with some Bristol cardstock. This is Bristol Smooth cardstock. Um, there is a vellum. The vellum has uh, kind of some bite to the fiber. It's not as smooth. So I don't use that for blending. I use the smooth. There are two choices. So just a FYI on that. And I'll link it in the description. It's my favorite one for blending. It gives you a second to uh, move the ink before it sets up. And especially on oxides, I love to use my Bristol. So I've got worn lipstick, festive berries, and candied apples. So I'm just doing a little bit of an ombre effect on this cardstock. And it's cut to four by five and a quarter inches. So just a little bit smaller than an A2 size. And I'll layer that onto a card base. So you can see how fun and quick and easy this is. So you could use any color you wanted. You could use your paste, uh, texture paste. You could use uh, stencil butter, which is a little bit thinner than a texture paste with color. I love my stencil butter. And, um, and then there are a lot of choices that you could do. So you could also just cut out an individual heart. You'll see that there is the die for that. So I'm going to take this over to my stamp positioner. And I have pulled off some of the stamps just kind of randomly. And I'm going to fill them in. You could stamp each one, especially if you have a stamp positioner. It would go pretty fast um, to fill each one of these hearts. But I'm going to put a little critter on there so I want to leave um, a little of blank hearts so that if I cover it I'm not covering up the word. All right I cut out the you're the best one of those little um, speech bubbles and then I'm pulling out an older diamond press set that was all about Valentine's Day. This is a little raccoon here and I'm just going to do a really quick color with him. This is BV29 so it's slate it's not black so it's not completely dark. Um, but it um, is a good bit darker and it'll lighten a little bit when it dries. I'm going to move on to some cool grays. I've got C3 here and then I'm pulling out some of my other ones. I love the, the cool grays. That's my favorite blending group. I think because um, usually I can make it look pretty good. <laughs> I'm not the best colorer, but the grays just, I, I really gravitate toward them, even though it is just a gray, but um, they just blend so well. And so then I'm going to start working on the tail here. And again, not spending too much time on this. I do want to make it look a little bit of a texture. I looked at a picture of a little raccoon. Um, I couldn't remember where all their stripes and things are. They're kind of color grouping. So that helped me decide which colors I wanted to use. So I'm just, he's a little bit darker at the top. In my picture, so I'm just pulling in some C7 here to add a little bit of texture to him for his fur. And then I'm going to come back and blend here again, pulling those colors together. And then I'll finish off his face with C1, and I need to color that heart. So I'm going to use R29, one of my favorite reds. It's just a beautiful, rich red. And so... I am doing that to finish him off. So cute. So I'm, I've added this to my card base. I have popped him up with a little bit of foam tape and now for some dimension. And then I have moved him over there. And I'm just deciding where I'm going to put my heart. And the you're the best. Okay, so I've got this beautiful twine that I picked up from Michaels. They finally had some Hall um, Halloween. They finally had some Valentine stuff in store uh, a few weeks ago. I've got a, a 25 card video that I made using some of their products. I'll link in the description if you're still working on some Valentines. Maybe it'll give you a little um, inspiration. But this is one of the uh, twines that I picked up. I love the colors. I really like their twines. They're nice and thick and very colorful. They're usually very high quality. 
and the price is uh, very reasonable especially if you can get it on sale and I'll have this twine for a good long time um, like we say we're gonna have twine forever for all eternity because <laughs> one little roll lasts forever but I thought that worked well with the card so here is my little critter be sure to like share and subscribe thanks so much for watching have a great day